so i had an exposure to a cancer institute tata memorial hospital okay. in mumbai i went there for uh, you know to learn surgery but there i saw there are so many patients who are suffering from this disease and if you are you know well trained and you can really make a difference so exactly. that's why i wanted you know myself to be fully trained and uh, to give them the And best so chance of you i have seen many many people jo uh, pura lifetime smoking and drinking karte hain but unko kabhi koi problem nahi hoti hai like cancer nahi hota hai koi aisi major problem nahi hoti hai and kuch log aise bhi hote hain jo कुछ भी नहीं करते बट उनको ये प्रॉब्लम हो जाती है एंड वी हैव मतलब मैंने बहुत ज़्यादा सुना है तो आपने बहुत ही ज़्यादा सुना होगा कि वाई इट्स हैपनिंग टू मी वेन आई एम नॉट डूइंग एनी थिंग सो ऐसा कुछ हुआ है आपके साथ डेफिनेटली सो बेसिकली क्या होता है कि ना कैंसर जो है वो मल्टी फैक्टोरियल डिजीज है तो uh, इसमें बहुत सारी चीज़ें दे कम इन टू प्लेन टू पिक्चर सो अगर आप स्मोकिंग कर रहे हैं आपकी बॉडी उसको कैसे रिएक्ट कर रही है और वो uh, किस तरह से आपकी रिपेयर मैकेनिज्म यू नो इन्वॉल्व हो रही है उस प्रोसेस में उस पर डिपेंड करता है कि आपको कैंसर होगा या नहीं होगा सेफेस्ट वे है कि अगर आपने इस तरह के कुछ टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंसेस लिए ही नहीं देन ऑब्वियसली यू आर सेफेस्ट बट अगर आपने लिए भी हैं लेकिन अगर आपकी बॉडी उससे कोप अप कर जाती है तो हो सकता है कि आपको कुछ ना हो या हो सकता है आपको हो मगर आपको पता ना चला हो यू नो कई बार ऐसा होता है कि सब क्लिनिकल लेवल पे जेनेटिक लेवल पे सेलुलर लेवल पे चीज़ें हो रही होती हैं बट वो बेनिफेस्ट नहीं करती हैं सो so, इसलिए ये आर्गुमेंट देना कि और लोगों को तो 10 साल से पी रहे हैं नहीं हुआ सिगरेट पी रहे हैं और मुझे क्यों हो जाएगा इज टोटली यू नो रॉन्ग एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली ओके मैम तो ये कुछ क्वेश्चन थे जो हमारे व्यूअर्स हमसे जानना चाहते थे आपके थ्रू एंड वी हैव अ राउंड नाउ लाइक इट्स वी कैन वी कैन से इट रैपिड फायर बट इट्स अ रैपिड फायर आई विल आस्क यू सम क्वेश्चन ऑन योर जर्नी एंड आई विल लाइक आई एम होपिंग कि आप बस फटाफट जवाब दे दें उनका विदाउट थिंकिंग एनी थिंग सो माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हैव यू एवर गॉट इमोशनल वाइल ट्रीटिंग सम वन येस और नोइंग दिस स्टोरी Yes, that definitely. Happens. We are humans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, like, what precautions do you personally take to avoid cancer? Yeah, so I'm a, a non-alcoholic. Okay. I haven't smoked. I don't chew tobacco. I try to maintain, uh, you know, uh, okay, good fine. nutrition. Mm -hmm. So and uh, uh, I have uh, undergone screening methods okay. for cancer. So yes, I do take. So we can say like it's a preventive measure. So you have taken. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, what inspired you to be an, an uh, oncologist? So uh, I actually, uh, frankly speaking, if you say patients, patients, that's yeah. that's really a good answer. Yeah, because see, uh, I am uh, to begin with, I was ENT surgeon, and in ENT also we, uh, you know, come across lot of cancer patients and. Uh, Uh, so I had an exposure to a cancer institute, Tata Memorial Hospital okay. in Mumbai. I went there for uh, you know to learn surgery, but there I saw there are so many patients who are suffering from this disease. And if you are you know well trained, and you can really make a difference. Exactly. So that's why I wanted uh, you know myself to be fully trained and uh, to give them the And best chance. I'm so proud of, of you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, being a doctor, have you ever got? scared of the situation of a patient yes definitely you know i'm a surgeon sometimes you get a surprise on table sometimes we think ki yes this was possible we could you know resect but sometimes when actually when we are operating we see that this is uh, this may not help much so that situation and there are some life threatening situations sometimes once in a while you come across that you are definitely scared Mem, any cancer patient story which motivates you or inspires you every time? Yeah, so like uh, there are a lot of stories. Uh, I would say that uh, all the cancer patients and their caregivers, they are brave. They are really brave because uh, we start thinking of you know small small problems and we get depressed and we think that oh we don't have this. But when you see a patient who has come to you. Uh, with stage 4 cancer but he wants to live yeah. you know that makes you humble yeah. and you feel that you are really blessed and uh, uh, i remember there was one patient who was uh, stage 4 laryngeal cancer it this was when i was at tata memorial hospital mumbai and he was 76 year old okay. 
but he always used to come smiling whether when we were investigating when we told him that no we cannot save your voice box we have to remove it but we will put a prosthesis you will be able to speak again and all but that patient was ever smiling he said okay fine please do it i whatever this is a gift the life is a gift which has been given to me and believe me he had undergone major surgery he was absolutely fine and That's with no so, uh, so and sometimes you see patients who are you know they're young and they have stage 1 disease but they get so depressed i mean uh, so i always give example uh, yeah, of yeah. these kind of that know? that's really nice like we should always be motivated uh, yes hota hai andar se wo feel nahi aata hai but still uh, what we are seeking is seeking us so be yeah. happy and keep smiling and that also reminds that life is really a gift you should utilize it uh, you know well and you should not waste it over some you know a substance of abuse exactly. i mean you should not risk your life while just uh, for small amount of entertainment or enjoyment exactly and ma'am uh, it was a great interview and it's it was an eye opening interview for me and i think ki hamare audience ko bhi hamare jo listeners hain unko bhi bahut zyada information mili hogi sath hi jaate jaate main aapse ek advice uh, lena chahungi jo hamare viewers bhi janna chahenge uh, like for life for cancer for anything you want yeah so i always tell because cancer is a deadly disease it's not easy to go through the process it's not easy for the patient it's not easy for the doctor it's not easy for the uh, caregivers because the word is frightening but it is not incurable cure is available but it depends upon the stage it depends upon the how early you come to us you know so best thing is like prevention is better than cure if you are aware that this you know substance can cause problem so please don't consume it if you have consumed it stop it right now and uh, if you have slightest of you know doubt in your mind ki kahi mujhe cancer ka lakshan to nahi hai so please don't waste time don't sit at home go and see seek opinion of cancer specialist because there is no point in going here and there and then you know wasting time exactly exactly and thank you so much ma'am for your time and for your expertise thank My you pleasure. so much